Hi guys, in this tutorial we make an overall introduction to S2 Engine Editing 2. As opening, S2 Engine show you the new project file dialog. You can choose an existing project or creating a new one. We create a new project choosing the folder where to create it. Clicking on the project path, we can choose also the drive letter in which search for the folder of our project. When creating a new project, we must choose plugin to load at start. In our case, there is only one plugin, S2 Base Pack. We choose it. Eventually, uh, you can choose one or more asset packs for populating the project. If you choose an asset pack to load at start, you will see the project browser at your left to be populated with the files and folders. The project browser shows you all the assets of the project, prefabs, models, materials, and so on. If you want, for example, view a model asset, you must first choose Model Browser, then you select the file and click on the right mouse button. So select Inspect on the appearing drop-down menu. Model Editor is opened. The model is showed inside a model viewport and on the bottom Animation Controlling tool is showed. Any asset type can be inspected, for example materials, so we select material browser, choose a material and click on right mouse button and select inspect from the pop-up menu. Click on save material icon for saving the current selected material. A material preview will be shown inside the material browser instead of the default material icon. Various viewports are available, for example a viewport for material, a viewport for the model, a viewport for the guy and a viewport for the scene. Also, there are other viewports, for example, viewport for previewing the prefabs. The same viewport is uh, also the game viewport. We can resize the viewport and panels, or moving them from a side to another interface by drag their tabs. During editing, everything in the scene viewport is simulated as it is in game. You can click on freeze button if you want to stop simulating. Every tool has a, an help button. Click there to open the related manual page. If you want to Place an object inside the scene, open the prefabs browser and drag a prefab file inside the scene. To select, move, rotate and scale an object, you can use the objects tool. Every object has its own properties that depend on its class. For editing object properties, open the class tool.
if you want to uniformly scale an object you can click on a free side of the object and move the mouse leading click it left button If you click on right mouse button on selected object, a pop-up menu is shown containing reference to all asset used by the object. Click on the asset name to inspect You can uh, snap object uh, translation by choosing the grid size. Also, you can snap rotation of the object by choosing angle snap. Okay guys, that's all for now, bye.